welcome to Star's Farm, which was inspired by Star. And today we're going to talk about how Star was born with splayed legs and curled toes and how she's recovered. Yeah, Star was born live on Facebook and due to humidity problems, she was born shrink wrapped and I had to assist. The main thing to know about shrink wrapping, um, you don't want to assist too early. You want to make sure that the veins in the membrane has receded. They recede when the baby absorbs the yolk. So here's parts of that experience. You see where the, the membrane's kind of stuck on them? It's called shrink wrapping. Careful as possible. So. There's the baby. You should be able to do the rest. As you can see, Star is so special to us. And now let me take you 10 hours after she hatched. All right, so it has been probably about 10 hours since Star was hatched. And we're noticing Star has a couple issues that she has, um, she's gonna need more assistance with. She has spade legs, it's when the legs are not getting underneath her. So what I gotta do is I gotta just kinda help train her legs to stand this way. And then as you can see, she has curled toes. Not only do I have to help her train her legs on the correct position on how to stand, but we're going to work on her toes too. So big difference, right? So now I'm going to show you um, her steps to recovery. Okay, so we got a brace on the star's legs. This one was too long. This one is too short. So we kind of have one in the middle. And we also have little band-aids. Come on, we're going to put them on the toes to help them as well. Aww. You hungry? Yeah. So this is going to help train Star's legs in the position that they're supposed to be in. And just keep the food on the ground until... Oh yeah! Yeah, look at you! So as you can see in the beginning, she couldn't walk, get around. I put the food on the ground so she could peck on that. And I would say I set a timer for every couple hours to make sure she was drinking water. And then the next step is I took off the brace and band-aid so she can start kind of hopping around. Uh, just leaving it on for four hours really helped enough to where she was at least now able to completely drink water and eat food on her own. And then this is our next steps. Here, yeah. So she's pecking around, getting around. We got this, this leg. The brace has already helped, um, but this foot is more curled than the other one. It's kind of funny. We actually got this foot more, this leg more splayed, this one better, and then that foot is better as far as curled toes, and this one's still curled. <laughs> but she can hop around, get around, so she can eat, drink her water, and we'll see progress. Oh, you're so fluffy. Star is doing good. I want to show you her new brace. The other one kept falling off. Just a rubber band. And the only thing I'm worried about is this one foot. It looks a little bit bruised. Um, and it seems to, now that I have the brace on, helping her because she's not putting as much weight on that foot. So 
I'm expecting to see a lot of great recovery. I'm gonna show you that she's drinking just fine and eating. So yeah, so she's doing good. Actually, I think she's to the point now where I'm going to take the food off of the bottom and put it in its own dish so she'll know where to get her food and then we're going to move into shavings once she gets her bearings down. So, but she's she's doing great. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so Star's very active. She still has her brace on. I took it off, but um, it makes this foot turn more when she doesn't have it on. Whew. So I'm going to leave it on. Next step, I will be replacing this rag. Oh, I love you with pine shavings once she gets used to where her food and water is. Aww. And then um, from there I'm going to be putting another band-aid on her foot to help straighten it out. And I'll probably leave that on for a good at least 24 hours. So here's Star's new setup. I want to show you what I have going on with her. She still has the brace and I have some like painter's tape instead of a band-aid this time because I think it, it's easier to take off and her feet's so fragile. But I'm going to leave that on for 24 hours and she can walk around fine with it. In fact, I'll put her farther back so you can see. There you go. You heard the tripping. <laughs> you heard the tapping. No. I love you. Yeah. Look at this. So, I got back from school shopping today, and I come to find out Star ended up taking the tape off herself. Yeah, you see my hands? And look, no more curled feet. No more curled feet. I'm so excited for her. So, yay! Star is officially walking. No brace, no curled toes. She's a little bit wobbly. Uh, walking because she's not used to having full, I guess, leg span because the brace would hold them together. But come here, show people. <laughs> she likes <to> up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are you showing me, mommy? Yeah. Oh, look, they love it. She's so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get you. No, she's not scared. She's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Aww. She's like, feed me. I know these hams give me food. <laughs> so all those videos, it's probably about a week's worth of time. Star is going to be two weeks tomorrow. And if you like these type of videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what type of videos you'd like to see. We're going to be making more videos probably around our animals from our chickens, our turkeys, our guineas, to even our mastiffs and white belly a kaik. We're animal lovers and as we come across stuff in our daily life, we're gonna be sharing it. So I hope you join us on the journey and subscribe and follow us. Check us out on Facebook, links are below. Love you guys.